hello guys and welcome to uh, a new infinity kingdom video in this video i want to talk about king of the hell gathering resource day so today is our third day for king of the hell which means that this is the gathering resource day uh, if you take a look here you gather uh, for each two resources you get you will receive one point for example if you collected two million resources you get one million point and so far we're like three hours 20 minutes into the event into the day and i've got like 55 million resources so i want to explain how i've got so much resources in only three hours even though i'm not using a lot of alts it's by using a lot of lots of alts by the way i will show you guys how i'm doing it so i will not be talking a lot or explaining i will literally show you everything so first i'm gonna recall my marshes which I'm using right now and I'll be attacking the gathering resources of my all switch as you can see here it's Diego and uh, Ken I have uh, sent the resource tiles here I'm gonna start from here actually I want to start by Ken first yeah because Ken uh, I send the time when exactly I need to collect the resources. This is by my time. It's 520 at the moment. This is in 10 minutes. I'll be able to collect this. It's an estimated time. Not exactly. However, I'm just uh, sending like pinpoints to be able to make it easier for me. So this is the first one that I'm going after. I can attack it because it's in my alliance. So first I'm going to abuse my power as an R6 and... I'm gonna kick my alt here. So Diego as well. Okay. Take this one. Second. This one. So the resource tiles that I'm attacking at the moment, if you take a look here and wait for just a second, you'll be able to see the amount of resources left from 6 million. So I wait until the last minute so I can collect the nodes or collect the resource tiles to make sure that I'm, I'm getting the most value. And I'm, I'm not waiting like literally until the last moment just to give myself enough time to collect the nodes. Because as you can see some nodes are so far away from me and it takes a lot of time to collect. So the first one is done. And after I collect I re-invite my alt into the alliance one more time. The reason I'm adding them to, to my alliance because the other sub-alliance that we have have only one area that we can collect resources level 9 in which is Tannheim uh, but it doesn't have resources level 10 which is the resources that I'm collecting from with my main account so it's gonna be a hustle for me to send my gathering marshes into this area and then recall them is gonna take a lot of time so it's easier to be in the same area well it's easier for me since I'm using my up using my rank as an R6 to kick my alts and then re-invite them again. But, well, I'm sure that you guys can fig figure this out yourselves, right? Right, so two are done. We're gonna go for the third here. This one is very close. Well, I'm also getting some honor in the process, but... Ah, and by the way, guys, as you can see, I was re I, I was using some talents here for gathering speed. So, once I've used these talents, I was using it on my main account as well. Where's the gathering report? Well, it doesn't show here, but I was using it in my main marshes. So, once these talents are consumed... Uh, I'm gonna switch to the other talents which is available at the moment I'm gonna show you how so I've consumed already the iron and 
the stone so i'm gonna switch to the food and the wood talents which are available at the moment let me let me show you how exactly how it works for example if i if i collect here you can see that the the upcoming stack coming up in around nine hours so i've used both my stacks but once i switch to the other talents you'll be able to see that it's available right now uh one more to go for ken uh, i collect this one already uh okay that means that i've collected all of ken nodes oh i sent okay looks like we have made a mistake by sending uh two nodes at the same time let me open another account Or maybe I can find it myself. No, this is for Diego. This is in 10 minutes. Okay, it looks like I will need to open the other account in order to collect this one. Just give me a second. Okay, and I was like 55 million points. I haven't even got the rest of my marshes yet. However, I'm going to show you the amount of points that I have received after finishing this process and this is by only using two alts if you guys are using more you'll be able to get a lot of points not sure if this account will appear in the stream i uh, mean the record uh this one is finishing very soon i've got to collect it quickly Ah, this one is very close actually, nice. Okay, once we're done with Ken, uh, I'll start collecting Diego. It takes around 8 to 10 minutes to collect all the resource tiles if they are closer to you. I'm just gonna wait to collect the rest of the resources here. Just to make it easier. Or, well, I'm not gonna wait. Just recall now. And the rest of my resource gathering are complete. But they're returning. This one is returning in a minute. Okay, now let's collect Diego. Three more minutes. Really not gonna make any difference. So I'll start collecting it right now. What one of the problems that I'm facing at the moment is that since I'm leaving a lot of resource tiles almost incomplete with like 30k or 40k resources in it and it disappears in 7 minutes this doesn't let another resource respawn so by the end of the day I'll be surrounded by a lot of resource tiles that are useless and I cannot gather them because they, they are uh, they're not gonna add any value to me so I'll need to go a lot farther to collect Wow, well, I, I lost mine hundred in this <clears throat> so I'll, I'll need to look for resources that way far away from me in order to find complete resource tiles but this is just for one day so I'll, I'll I think I will can I can handle it I can take it yeah okay I need to recall this as well I've collected two from Diego, this one and this one. I'll go for the this one here. And for the last one. This one's coming back in 30 seconds. And the last one is on its way already well i wish if, if i could recall now but i'm i'm struggling so bad with gems right now so this this is not an option for me so let's take a look at the points i was 55 million now i'm at 80 million 
Well, I think by the end of the day, I can reach rank 1. If I keep doing this, of course. It requires a lot of time. And it requires you being available most of the day. And watching out for, for, on, for the game. So sometimes I set my alarm. I make sure that I take a day off from my from my job usually. However, I didn't manage to. So I'm not sure if I can continue this. However, I wanted to show you guys the process, how it works. Maybe you can use it if you don't have any rules in your server. Of course, that prevent using alts to gather resources in big events such as uh, King of the Hell. This is also one of the reasons that uh, why using alts is very important. I have more alts that I can use. But I'm, I'm not feeling that energetic to use more alts, to be honest. I don't think that I can put more efforts into such an event. So I'm, I'm just settled by using two alts for now. Okay, we can attack. We can collect the lost resource, resource tile for Diego. And now we can switch the talents. So we can send our marshes again. So I'm using stone. And I'm using wood, so I'm gonna use wood and wood. Uh, I'm using iron right now, so I'm gonna use wood. Okay, let's reset this. Uh, of course, you need to use uh, big yells, which increases the resource production by 10%. Helps a lot in this event. Uh, gold reduction, of course, 10% 10, 10 reduction. I'm always using Divine Walker. Okay, wood, training speed, other war, war lordly helper, helper, and warehouse storage of course because you will be collecting a lot of resources you need to make sure that there is enough room for them. I've got the wood right, or am I missing something, yeah I've got the wood, okay, now for the other tree, crit value. Could always use this and riding fast make sure that you're getting your attacks in time i've got a few more points i think yeah i'm just gonna use them in random uh let's check if the talents are available right now let's recall these and you need to use uh gathering expertise always using 24 7 whenever you're sending your gathering resources especially for this day so we're using wood as of now so we're gonna look for a wood tile here yeah both are available and once you're running you ran out of these talents as well you can switch back to the other to the other talents so you can get the best out of it as you can see i can finish this in three hours 14 minutes one more wood no, this one is not complete so i'm not gonna go for it i need to make sure that all my resource tiles are finishing at the same time so i don't get confused also i need to find them as close as possible to my castle so i don't waste uh, a lot of time ah uh, this is this is frustrating <laughs> Our server is very active. It's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time, so... Okay. Now for the food. I uh, need to get closer. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, no, this is not a level 10 zone. Please, please, resource tiles. Frosty, you're killing me. Nope. Oh my god, this one is not complete. We will have to go a lot farther to find a complete one. Ah, finally, there you go. Okay, one more food, one more food, there it is, four hours, but we can finish it in less than four hours, three hours, 14 is our current time, so 
my main account resource tiles are complete i will do the same thing for for both of my alts i will switch talents then then the gathering uh the gathering groups with the same talents or the other talents that i did not use yet i'll set the time send in send in the cords for my main account and mention the time that i'll be collecting these on so on for the rest of the day if you have time of course hopefully guys this helped you understand what you need to do in gathering resource day i know this is longer than i intended it to be i'm sorry but i needed to explain this in details hopefully guys you learned something new today thank you for watching and have a wonderful day